I wish these were a lot better. <laughs> Here are my Fat Shark Dominator HD V2 goggles, and these have been uh, really good for me so far. I've been using this little Next Wave uh, receiver like this, and it has the different bands on here, including the race band, and uh, you switch it over here with these little dip switches. Well, the biggest problem that this has is that you can't really know for sure which channel you're on unless you're counting as you push the buttons, you know, go all the way down and count up one, two, three, four, five, you know, and figure out what channel you're on. Anyway, so LaForge came out with their own, uh, the LaForge project came out with their little screen that they had and it looks kind of like this, although this is not a LaForge. Looks like this and it shows you the frequency on here and this plugs into your goggles the same way that your other receiver does. These are actually from the real ACC uh, brand like this and these are just uh, knockoffs of the LaForge. And since the LaForge project is really open source, it's not really even necessarily a uh, knockoff, it's just you know their version of it. But anyway, so it looks like this and these pins just slide into your Fat Shark goggles and you have your little toggle switch here to go up and down and select the different modes and then this side goes into the opposite side of the goggles so that you can have the diversity receiver from the two different antennas. Now along with this, our real ACC also made a set of little plates like this. Let me get them around the right way. They look like this and if you look close you can kind of see it says real ACC there. And these are not 3D printed. They're actually you know poured plastic. Now one thing I did on these is I actually grooved this out a little bit so the wire wouldn't get pinched in there. And also the one that goes on the other side I also grooved it out a little bit too so the wire also wouldn't get pinched. I don't know if their idea is that you run the wires inside or what but they didn't have the grooves in there so I just used a little small Dremel and dremeled these out. Now these had problems with these also. On this one, there's supposed to be four pegs here. Like you can kind of see, there's one peg, there's one, there's one. Four pegs holding it in. This one came snapped off. So that was kind of disappointing. And it's it's this one right here, in case anyone else has the same issue. Uh, and on this one, this actually I thought was pretty nice, except for it has this huge crack going right down it. And it starts down here, goes all the way up to the top. If I pull it apart, we can kind of see through there. These, I don't know, the quality on this is kind of disappointing. It goes like this, actually. Uh, the antenna comes out here, and this is where you plug in your um, video output. But the quality on this is so disappointing. They didn't come wrapped in any foam. They just came like this inside one of Banggood's uh, standard gray bags. So the, also, these came with a buzzer like this, and this is supposed to plug in to the board somewhere on here. I can show you in a minute. But if you plug this in, I don't know if you're supposed to like stick this to your goggles or what. I, I don't know, maybe the best thing is not even use it. People said it does a lot of beeping when it switches back and forth between the two receivers during diversity, but you might be able to take that uh, option and turn it off. The buzzer plugs in right up here, buzzer plus and minus. So here you can kind of get an idea of how it looks when it's installed. These pins just push right down into the holder just like the other one. The only one bad thing is look at this bend. It comes out of the adapter and immediately bends up 90 degrees to come out of the uh, hole. Then here's the uh, cover, the real ACC cover that's made for this. And you can see here, I, like I said, I grooved it out so it fit on there. But when I try to push this in, there it kind of slipped in. It's like it's not quite in over here, but if I push this in, oh, this side pops out. If I push this side in, oh, this side pops out. And so on and so forth. <laughs> so that's kind of aggravating. Over here on the other side, this, uh, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to go in here. But it doesn't just, it kind of has to bend up around this a little bit and it slips in. And it, like it, it's pushing up against this top part up here. And I don't know if that's really how it's supposed to go. But when it's in here like this, it still has a lot of room to flop around. But here I get the other 3D printed part, and it slips on here. It's hard to do it on the camera. <laughs> it slips on here like this. Okay, I just pulled it down when I did that. So, again, I had to groove the wire, or groove the little cover out here for it. And here you can see, now you can see it's really bad crack. So I push this on, and it kind of snaps in. Actually, I think I got it pretty well that time. Oh, no. See, here we go playing the teeter-totter game again. Push this side in, and it looks real good, looks real flush, and this side sticks out. Push this side in, now it looks real good, this side sticks out. So, that's kind of aggravating. Well, moving on. Here's the, uh, I got RPSMA antennas, 
uh, or adapters, I guess. And then I have the RPSMA matching antennas. And when this slides on here, again, it's this is designed, it's supposed to hold this antenna. Well, now that the antenna's on there, this thing, it is flopping around big time like this. And I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. But again, like I showed inside, there's, the only thing it has to mount to is that little top piece. And there's nothing in there really holding it in place. So I thought, well, maybe it's supposed to mount to this little piece here, the adapter piece itself. But that's not the case either. So here on the inside, you can see it's just rounded, just like the outside. There's nothing special in here that you're supposed to attach to this or put some double-sided tape in here, you know, because it, it's just rounded, so it's not really going to help anything. Now, if you look at the uh, original one, this one here is the, where, which way does it go? Like this. Uh, this one doesn't have anything in there either, but this one's not really designed to hold anything. So that's... I guess it's not terrible, but this is the other side with the window. You can see on this one it has these little grooves in here that are supposed to help hold the uh, receiver into place. So when it slides in through this hole, it hold, it actually has a good push on this receiver holding it in place. Now the new one doesn't have that either, but it doesn't have a flat surface like this one does. So I guess you really can't fault it much for that. So at this point we'll just pretend everything is perfect and um, these plates fit perfectly. Okay, so here I got my battery. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and plug it in here. And the little screen comes on. And look at that. Only half the lines work. So, and also you can tell the screen's not quite lined up with the hole. Now, this is a real ACC um, faceplate here, and it's the real ACC adapter piece inside. But it doesn't fit up, fit in quite right. It's not squared up. And also, it looks like this says DAND scanner instead of band scanner because it's missing uh, half the rows of the uh, LCD screen. So you can you can push this okay. Here's the button. You got you push it in like this to select the different stuff, and you can scroll down. And you're probably seeing a lot of flickering, but that's just because the the uh, refresh rate on this. But here I'm trying to like you can't even read what these things say because. The stupid uh, every other line is broken. I mean, you can probably get figure out this says auto search something scanner. I don't know. I, I'm I'm severely disappointed with this. Now I have seen a lot of people uh, that have the LaForge modules. They buy this little piece here, and I, this actually came from GrabTech RC, and uh, I actually recommend them. They are pretty good and they're easy to work with. And this uh. What you do, this is actually to hold the wires here so they don't just dangle around like that. Let me unplug this. You, you take this piece here and it bends open like this and the wires slip down inside there and then it, it goes back down and closes and that way it holds it into place. And if you have those wires going across the front, the sure looks a lot cooler when it's installed in something like this. Now I tried to use it on this a little bit ago, but these wires are probably just the right length for this and so this added a little bit too much um, thickness underneath there and it was having a hard time reaching over to this antenna over here but again look at this thing it just flops around there oh it's so aggravating anyway these are the real ACC um, diversity setup pieces and the uh, covers if you're if you're excited about getting yours boy I hope it works a lot better than mine however I don't think it's going to, and if it, if it does, boy, I'm sure happy for you. Anyway, I'll probably be coughing up the money for some of Forge modules and just buying all the parts that they recommend because I'm not having great success with these. Anyway, if you have any questions about it or you want to argue about how good it is, that's fine. Put them in the comments. We'll talk about it, and as always, thanks for watching.